a look at our setting tonight. The picturesque city of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Welcome, everyone. The regular season is in the books. The battle for the East begins. Round one, game one. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. David Aldridge is on our sideline. Hey, Dave. Well, guys, for all of the star power Blake Griffin had when he was in Los Angeles, it was tough for him to be the leader of the Clippers. There were bigger voices in the locker room, such as CP3 and Doc Rivers. But Pistons coach Dwayne Casey said in Detroit, he's definitely the leader. When he speaks, everybody listens. This is his team. Kevin? Yeah, and he has their confidence. David, thank you. And a look at the starters for the Pistons. At the forward positions, Snell and Griffin. Rose is out there with Reggie Jackson. And it's Drummond in at the five spot. And for the Bucks, Middleton and Giannis are the forward tandem. The backcourt comprised of Bledsoe and Matthews. And it's Lopez in at the five down low. the Pistons to start out and here's Rose to the left wing and the wide open shot from Griffin drops in the tray knows how to run a team guys and facilitate accordingly Rose makes those around him better Matthews scanning the floor Lopez gets to Middleton the Bucks working the ball around Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's going to be on Blake Griffin. Man, that was a remarkable pump fake from Antetokounmpo. I mean, he's really good at selling that shot fake. This is his first free throw of the game. First free throw is good. You know, what you really like about Antetokounmpo is he wants to keep getting better. I'd say he's accomplished that and then some. Luke Kennard, he's checked in for Tony Snell. And both free throws, good for Giannis. Here is Rose. to the wing here's Griffin yes and it's Rose with the assist that time Griffin's got his second basket of the night yeah he's become very reliable with that mid-range jump shot the defense can't let him get comfortable from there out of the Kumbo finds Budzo and Budzo with the stuff puts the D in a tough spot when you have a point guard who can throw it down he really does yeah, he really does put pressure on him showing how dynamic a weapon he is for this offense they feed off of that energy and ability to make play it gets them going his shot is good making him a perfect two for two from the floor Bledsoe's a master at taking it to the rack I mean his combination of strength and speed hard to contain Rose against Bledsoe Rose dishes to Griffin outside for Jackson Matthews with a steal Four on three as they bring it up. Here's Antetokounmpo and the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. Matthews has a nice feel, guys, for when a teammate has a clean look, gets him the ball. Pass to Griffin. Here's Kennard. He's looking for Drummond and finds him over Lopez. That one off the back iron and out. Bucks have gotten their first three shots to go in for him to start off this game. Giannis passes to Middleton, drills the three-pointer. And early on, they've been nearly perfect from the floor. Just the one miss here on their first five attempts. Over to the wing. Just got the run, and there's Drummond. That's good on the assist by Rose. Rose has got three assists tonight. Here's Bledsoe, and the rejection by Jackson. Here's Rose. Good D by Matthews. 
Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. You know, it's never easy or simple trying to slow down Bledsoe. I mean, when he's in attack mode, it puts the defense in a real pickle. The Bucs shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. He's off on the first. And the key for Bledsoe, like it is for most players, is staying motivated and engaged. I mean, he's a big player for this team, an important player for this team. Ilya Sova, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Korver comes in for Wesley Matthews. Doomboy is checked in for Detroit. Langston Galloway comes in for Rose. And the second free throw, good. And it's Jackson with the ball, bringing it up for the Detroit Pistons. It's a five-point game. Passes it to Doomboya. Here's Drummond. And the rejection by Giannis. Loads it up for Giannis. A high to stop the alley-oop. How about the springs of this guy, Antetokounmpo, also known as the Creek Freak? I mean, he just gets up off the ground like a rocket on these alley-oop chances. And the Pistons decide to take their first timeout right here. Every timeout, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. And I agree. I think there's going to be a new wrinkle in their game plan when they come out of this timeout. in for the Bucks. Hill comes in for Eric Bledsoe. And then for Detroit, Morris is checked in for Andre Drummond. Brown comes in for Luke Kennard. And Tim Frazier subbed in for Jackson. Dumboya kicks to Frazier. Dumboya passes to Frazier. Just five on the clock. Here's Galloway. Detroit, no good that time either. He missed that one, but I've seen him drill shots from that distance in warm-up. Well, that looked to me, guys, like a heat check. And it was maybe a step out of his range. And plenty of contact on the shot. So, two free throws coming up. Well, I tell you what, the long arms of Antetokounmpo are really incredibly lethal in the paint. Sometimes the defense really has no choice but to foul him and then hope he misses. He's gone two for two at the line so far. And he makes the first. Oh, free throws good from out of the Kumbo. And they've been the more physical team offensively, seeking contact, looking to score in the lane, and getting to the line. A big disparity in the free throws, and that's been a big boost to their offense. Outside for Corver. The second effort. And out to the Kumbo. Lays it in. Giannis has got 10 points in the game. <laughs> Defensively, they've got to pick up the intensity. Hard to win surrendering this high a field goal percentage. Yeah, you've got to turn up the dial on the intensity at the defensive end if you're them. I mean, it's still early, but I agree with you. Pastor Elias Hova. And a great assist by Anna Kumbo as that one goes in. Giannis has got three assists now in this one. Time called here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. Yeah, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint.
Milwaukee making a switch here. Jonathan's checked in. There's 48 seconds left in the first quarter. Here's Galloway. Another miss, and they desperately need a bucket. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be, because he is so strong in the paint. Corver passes to Ilya Sope. Teardrop shot, and Hill finishes inside. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. Greg, you're exactly right. I mean, everything seems to be dropping. Impressive scoring here. To the inside. Here's Morris. The 10 footer finds the target. Giannis on to Kumbo. He's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for Milwaukee. Between his points and his rebounds, he was a star for him in that quarter. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Andre Drummond says he's learned how to be a leader on this team. Watching previous guys who've led this team and did the things that they did, I write that kind of stuff in the back of my head and just say, you know, this is something I need to do this. Or if I see a thing I didn't like, you know, this is something I probably will stay away from. And I think now that I'm in a role where I could kind of lead this team, I kind of have the blueprint on what I need to do to make this team successful. And, you know, Greg, with Blake Griffin, he's got somebody to take some of that leadership role alongside him. And those two will be pivotal in deciding just how good this team can be. And we're ready to get back into the action here in game one. Let's see what this quarter has in store for us. And for the Bucks here, they've been putting a show on, guys. You, you got to credit their defense, communicating, rotating, making plays on the ball. They've got them rattled. It's only the first quarter, and already they've made enough big plays on defense to last really an entire game. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor, all fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. And Milwaukee, looking at who they've got. They've got Kyle Korver, Elias Silva out there with Robin Lopez. And there's Hill, and it's Connaughton in at the shooting guard position. Brown against Korver. Brown, good. A, a tough start scoring the basketball, but they're starting to turn it around now. Yeah, it looks like they've gained a little bit of confidence as the lid has come off the hoop. Connaughton passes to Korver. A three-pointer is right on target. And the Bucks lead by 16. Uh, assists like that have typified time their time effort out. today. Terrific ball movement. Really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. Time called here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. Substitution here for Milwaukee. Brooke Lopez is checked in for Lopez. Chris Middleton comes in for Kyle Corvin. Wesley Matthews checked in for Pat Connaughton. And it's Eric Bledsoe in for Hill. The Pistons working the ball around now. Here's Drummond. And Drummond throws it down. Thrown down with Forrest Drummond with great feel around the rim. Now, usually he's one of the leading dunkers in the NBA because... He doesn't waste any time or motion in there. And the jam by Bledsoe. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G.A., the pick working to full effect before the stuff. And, you know, not enough help from the defense there to compensate. He gets a clean look, and that's exactly how you draw it up. Rose, two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Boy, Rose plays with an angry physicality, which is really hard to match up against. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for Milwaukee. Take a break. Fellas, Take they're break. passing the ball the way you're supposed to here in this first half. 
Something else they've been able to do so far tonight is earn those tough points in the paint. The first free throw is good. You know what? We've recently been able to watch them different roles here. I mean, a better, more efficient, more confident player. Man, I love seeing that. Milwaukee making a switch here. Andre DeCumbo's checked in. And Rose drops them both. Just solid. Really one of the very best there is at the free throw line. And so finds Giannis. And there's the pass to Middleton. And another three for Milwaukee. The obvious work ethic of Middleton on full display there. I mean, the quick release off the pass, which leaves the defense without much to do. Down low, it's tipped. Lopez with the steal. And even three-on-three -three break. And the dunk by Giannis. Every team looking to get easy ones in transition. I think one of the best ways, guys, to score in transition is that quick hitter after the first burst. Here's Bledsoe. Uses the glass to finish the way. Bledsoe's got four points in the quarter. Capable of owning possessions all by himself, Bledsoe is a game changer at both ends of the floor. Rose against Matthews. And they get it. Rose, no good. Milwaukee leading by 21. Here's Bledsoe. And that one goes long. You know, you'd like to see a little more effort there defensively, but maybe they wanted him to take that shot, baited him into it. Jackson passes to Griffin. Not going to go that time. Good D by Lopez. Lopez showing off the length there to get to that shot. Six on the shot clock. And Rose, wide open. He shoots. Here's Drummond. No good. Not a friendly rim at all. This trip down. And it's Milwaukee's ball. They're on a 14-6 run. Bloodshow outside. Here's Matthews. Here's Giannis. And he lays it straight in. Giannis has got 14. I'm sorry. That's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. I'd agree with you. And I don't think they expected this one to be a game where they would get battered inside like they had. Well, you like guys who can work that in-between area. Really keeps the defense honest. And I'll tell you what, guys. I mean, with this combination of size and touch, he's a real threat from mid-range. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Because of his strength and his athleticism, he kind of burrows his way inside and gets contact because he's looking for it. No fear from Bledsoe there. And the first one drops. A different look for Milwaukee. Robin Lopez is checked in for Lopez. Corver comes in for Chris Middleton. And it's Pat Connington in for Wesley Matthews. And a different look here for the Pistons. Morris is checked in for Drummond. Dumboya comes in for Luke Kennard. Bruce Brown, he's checked in for Rose. And Langston Galloway subbed in for Reggie Jackson. Ludso hits them both. And so Galloway with it. He'll bring it up for the Detroit Pistons. 44 seconds left to play here in the half. Here's Griffin and the slam by Blake Griffin. Yes, he does, Kevin. Love seeing Griffin finish with power at the rim. Awesome at throwing it down when he's in this deep. Here's Bledsoe. Lopez dishes to Giannis. Six to shoot. Pass to Lopez. Over Brown. The shot's good from Lopez. Lopez has got his first basket of the night. Well, not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. Here's Griffin. And the rejection by Giannis. And so it's Milwaukee in very good shape with a 23-point lead at the end of the quarter. They've been playing some ferocious defense. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Here with Chris Middleton. Chris, it seemed like you all were dictating tempo in the first half. How did you do that? Okay, we're getting the styles, grabbing the rebound now, just trying to push and try to get the best shot available. Problem solved in transition. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin.
Thank you, David, for that interview. And we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, y'all. We're reporting to you live here in the sold-out arena. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. Well, for the Bucks, boy, have they ever started this series off on the right foot. They've thrown down the gauntlet here in game one with their intensity and effectiveness on both ends of the floor. Now, they've got a little bit of an intimidation factor going into the second half. Kenny, your thoughts on the Bucks' first half? We're seeing the Giannis effect. First player to ever fit it in the top 20 in all five major statistical categories. Come on, man. Are you kidding me? It doesn't speak for his overall impact, but I just want to tell you, that's impressive. And Shaq, what are your thoughts on Detroit? Well, uh, one reason they're getting roasted, a.k.a. blown out, is for rebound. Way too many one-and-done possessions. I don't want to see guys drip between their legs and shoot. Not enough fundamentals. Hey, box out 101. Maintain position 101. Learn how to play basketball 101. Things like that, Ernie. That about wraps it up. Time now for the second half of the game. We go to Kevin Harlan for the call. Round one, thanks for joining us as we get back to the action on the court. You look at Anadokounmpo, and this game has been everywhere. Yeah, and with all the pressure he must have felt coming into this one, it didn't phase him one bit. Fantastic start. Yeah, you know, I think he relishes the pressure, especially in a big game like this one. He really eats that stuff up. And we're with you again as our round one coverage continues. And on the floor for Dwayne Casey, starting the second half. On the front line, the talented duo of Griffin and Drummond. Reggie Jackson out there with Derrick Rose. And it's Snell in at the three spot. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And Blake Griffin is just an incredible athlete. Explosive and great balance and mobility. Powerful. A big, big guy who can flat out throw it down. And he also can pass it, too. And he knocks down the first one. He hits both from the strike. Here's Blunzo. Pass to out of the Kumbo. Throws it down. Man, he's got it going now. When he's in this kind of a zone, I think the D's happy to just get out of Anthony the two poles way. And the foul on Eric Bledsoe. That's his first foul. Rose kicks to Jackson. Anthony Kumbo against Griffin. Lopez with the block. And that's out of bounds. Detroit will retain possession. Just three to shoot. He gets that one. And the Bucks with possession here. Ludzo passes to Giannis. There's the lob. And Kumbo hammers the alley through. And how sweet a play was that? As sweet as it gets, an exquisite pass to set up the powerful alley-oop dunk. Guys, I tell you, there are assists, and then there are delicious dimes. This was the latter. Bucks passing it around. And Matthews kicks to Middleton. Let's the three fly. Rebound collected by Snell. Pistons trailed by 21. Here's Griffin. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the five. That's on Brooke Lopez. Detroit shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. The 
the first one falls. And some changes here for the Bucks. Iliasova comes in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. And George Hills subbed in for Eric Bledsoe. And a switcher also for Detroit. Kennard, he's checked in for Tony Snell. Blake Griffin hits them both. Now here is Hill. Outside Matthews. Middleton the pass to Lopez. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. Lopez has got his first bucket of the night. And you know, Lopez is very much a real threat to drop one in from that range. I mean, he's an excellent shooter for his size. The 11-footer, the rebound by the Bucks. Here's Matthews. Nice D from Rhodes. Pistons trail by 21. And it's sent back by Lopez. And so the ball goes out of bounds. Lopez touched it last. And the Pistons making a change here. Frazier's checked in. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Pass to Kennard. To the wing on the left. Always going up for the alley-oop here. Clock at four. And out of bounds as the Bucks gain possession. Bucks leading by 21. Hill kicks to Middleton. And there's the call on Andre Drummond. That'll be his second foul of the game. Kyle Corver, he's checked in for the Bucks. Detroit also making some changes. Doomboy is checked in for Griffin. And Langston Galloway subbed in for Derrick Rose. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. Ilias Silva. And Ilias Silva throws it down. Set him up well there. Brooke Lopez showing his vision and willingness as a passer. Hill against Frazier. Dumboya passes to Frazier. To the wing right side. Down to five on the shot clock. From the arc. And he's good on the three ball. Frazier's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Hill dishes to Lopez. Middleton looking it over. the pass to Hill. Three-pointers off the mark. All the time in the world to get that one off. Frazier the pass to Dumboya. Drummond working against Hill. Pass to Lopez. Over Frazier. And Brooke Lopez, the bucket on the assist by Hill. Lopez has got four points in the quarter. Let's look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for the Bucks. The activity level defensively, I I've really been impressed with. They've been in attack mode on the defensive end. You know, adding on to that, you look at their block totals tonight, and you see how feisty they've been on the defensive end this game. And it's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Now the feed to Ilias over. And the length of Ilias over, really a problem for defenders. Very tough to keep from fouling him when he's looking to score. The Bucks have been coming through at the charity strip. They've made seven of their eight attempts. Two shots. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one misses. Well, you think about Ilya Sova's lethal jump shot. It makes him a valuable player because he can stretch the floor. And some changes here for the Bucks. Lopez, he's checked in for Lopez. And it's Pat Connington in for Chris Middleton. Then for the Pistons, Markeith Morris is checked in for Andre Drummond. And it's Bruce Brown in for Frazier. That one misses. Detroit's gone three of six tonight when they've let it fly from downtown. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. For Detroit, they have been excellent at the free throw line here today. A flawless six for six.
free throw good from Brown. Giannis Antetokounmpo is checked in for Milwaukee. Eric Bledsoe comes in for George Hill. He's perfect from the line this time. Yeah, I like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second, despite being down. That's exactly when you need to be aggressive, Greg. You know that. I mean, another good job, though, of drawing contact and getting to the free throw line. That makes it 10 of their last 12 coming from inside the paint. For Milwaukee, they have shot 70% from the free throw line tonight, 7 for 10. Blake Griffin, he's checked in for the Pistons. Six seconds left in the third. Passes it to Kanar. Back to Galloway. Nice ball movement by Detroit. Griffin shot is off. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, Strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. Now, here's Anadokounmpo. D right on him. Four on the clock. He's feeling it. No good that time. And at the end of the third quarter, a huge lead, and this one may already have been decided. The Bucks on top delivering the blowout. And we'll get going after this from Milwaukee. Here now a chance to show you our assist of the game, and it's presented as always by State Farm. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and what a beautiful feat. For me, next to the big-time alley-oops and monster throwdowns, passes like that are probably the next best thing when it comes to sweet-looking NBA highlights. And we're happy to have you back for more playoff basketball here in round one. And the Jacumbo is out there with Robin Lopez. Then there's Kyle Corbin. Then there's Bledsoe. And it's Connaughton in at the two spot. That's the group for Milwaukee right now. What a find by Griffin. He's a lot more skilled as a passer than he gets credit for as far as power forwards go. He has terrific vision. And haven't we seen that a few times today, guys? I mean, their defense has got to have a little bit more toughness. About it. And if it doesn't, this is only going to get uglier. I mean, that's no way to defend a player of his caliber. Brown kicks to Galloway. Elbow shot. A shot's good. Brown making the play. I, I love the ball movement there. He put that on a silver platter. Just served him up. Here's Giannis, and the dunk by Giannis. Hey, that's why Antetokounmpo is so feared league-wide. I mean, when he's close to the rim, he's most likely going to flush it on him. Pass to Dumboya. Lopez with the steal. Here's Connaughton. He's covered by Brown. Bledsoe against Griffin. Baseline J on the way. Here's Lopez. Eyes yet again, and the layup is good. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build time this out, lead. And really a reflection of their superior effort level to this point. It seems to me they've gone after this win a little bit more. Now a timeout called by Detroit. 
He does not look happy. Their defensive rebounding has, has been putrid, and they're giving up a ton of second chance points. Changes here for the Bucks. Lopez is checked in for Lopez. Chris Middleton comes in for Kyle Corver. And it's Matthews in for Pat Connington. Then for the Pistons, Andre Drummond comes in for Doom Boyle. And it's Rose in for Langston Galloway. The pass to Jackson. A three-pointer off the mark. And so it's Bugso with it, bringing it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, 23 points. You know what? They're winning, though, despite the fact that he has just been really off. And Middleton with the block. Or the defensive hustle there by Middleton. Stretching out and getting his hand on that shot. Excellent effort. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Rose dishes to Griffin. Shot clock at six. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. He's done a much better job of getting to the line here. Aggressively taking it inside and not shying away from contact. I thought he was settling a bit in the first. And the first one drops. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Bucks leading by 21. Pass to Lopez. Back to Bledsoe. Doesn't get it to drop for him. And it's Detroit the other way. Rose passes to Griffin. It's good. Griffin's got four this quarter. It was all about his athleticism when Griffin first came into the league, but it didn't take long to see he was about a lot more than that. He, he's got serious skills down low. Lopez kicks to Bledsoe. Detroit with the rebound. Drummond's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Hey, how about imagining if they were hitting their shots, how big the lead could be? But so far, that's not been the case. And Jackson has become a reliable three-point shooter. That's a shot you got to respect. Bledsoe issues to Lopez. Onto DeCumbo looking over the floor. Here's Bledsoe, and it's sent back by Drummond. Here's Brown, and Middleton with the block. Bledsoe outside. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Here's Jackson. That shot off. Good D by Matthew. Bucks leading by 16. Bledsoe passes to Lopez. Middleton with it. Shot clock at five. On deep. Andre Drummond grabs the miss. Drummond's got nine rebounds. Oh, what a play! Woo! <laughs> and all of a sudden, things finally coming together for them. The deficit's still large, but now not insurmountable. And, Greg, that kind of deficit, I think they're going about it the right way. I mean, they've got to get aggressive on defense. They need stops. And then you've got to take care of the basketball at the other end so you get a good shot every trip.
chance now to recognize our Jordan player of the game, Giannis Antetokounmpo. And what an amazing ball game we've seen from him. It's been a one-man show worth the price of admission all by itself. There wasn't anything he couldn't do on that court tonight. What a way to start the series. If this game is any indication, he's going to be an unstoppable force the next few games. Relentless in their approach, even with the game firmly in hand. And, you know, until that final buzzer sounds, I mean, you've got to treat every possession like it's crucial. throw good honest Pistons trail by 17 Rose passes to Griffin back to Rose Jackson has the open look it's good this time the assist from Rose <laughs> it's always great to get into a rhythm but do it when it matters now they're playing with urgency huh he could have done it much earlier before the game was out of reach. Lopez, no luck. Uh, you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look. But when you're that wide open, I think you got to knock it down. Man, what a pass that was there. He really, really relishes making the game easier for his teammates. And there it is for him. And you can sense that these fans, these players, they are ready to celebrate. And I think they can start that celebration right now. I mean, what a terrific team victory. Ed Solenbaugh to Takumbo. Jackson against Bloodsoe. And so it's the Bucks taking care of business in this one. A pretty good feeling right now for them to be out in front like this in the series. You know, Kevin, momentum so, so critical. And you know they'll want to ride this wave into game two. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Brooke, congrats on the win. The bench was huge tonight. How big were they? You know, we have such a great starting unit, and I think our second unit gets overlooked a lot. You know, uh, they come in... Um, I honestly think they're better than all the first units in the league. Well, you all helped win the game tonight, Brooke. Congrats again. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. Well, that'll do it for now. And you can join us during this first round of the Eastern Conference playoffs. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.